Hey guys, I'm back. <clears throat> As promised with uh, Mac OS X9. Um, just to prove it here, Mac OS X version 10.7. And also here, I will show you that's Mac OS X9 version 10.7 build 811A390. <clears throat> Mac OS X9 comes with uh, all new um, features. Let's go check him out. But before that, <clears throat> I want to give uh, two cautions. When you first install Mac OS X9, you'll get two features I guess you don't want that uh, you appreciate a lot on the Mac OS X uh, Snow Leopard that you can actually enable back <laughs> in the system preferences pin. Let's go uh, check these features out. For the dock. When you first install, you'll find this unchecked, which it's it's the indicator lights for open applications. So if I uncheck this, and if you direct your attention to the low uh, to the lower of the screen, you'll see that when I uncheck this, the lights will go away. Second thing is that you'll have inverted scrolling. So when you first install, you'll find this checked. Uncheck it, and you can scroll the same as you scroll on a Snow Leopard operating system. Now let's check out the features. For the first, as you can see, the Safari pops up like a notification. That's a nice transition they have made. On the side, you will see that there's no scroll bar. It's like an iPhone. It disappears and when you scroll down, it just reappears again. And if you, if, if you want to manually scroll down, scroll, just go to it and you can hold it. <coughs> the official release of Mac OS X line will be in the summer, this summer of 2011. And the, the slogan of Mac OS X line is the power of Mac OS and the magic of the iPad. The first new feature of the Mac OS X line, like the iPhone, is the Mac App Store. The Mac App Store is a uh, is the best place to find apps for Mac OS X9 and it's, it's hosted by Apple. Let me give an example. Here is mine. I'll give an example of downloading an app. Here I have Alpine Crawler. I found this app. And I really didn't try it out. So I want to do I want to do that. So press free. I enter password. I will load. Just give it a minute, please. And there it is. And uh, here, it will start downloading here on your launch pad, which we'll cover later. I will also show here on launch pad under there that it's uh, moving. See the bar there. Unlike Mac OS X, a Snow Leopard will down on your dock. That's the app store. Second is Launchpad, which I told you we were going to talk about. You can enter Launchpad with two ways. Either clicking it from here, or doing a gesture with your trackpad. Uh, I didn't practice this, so if I do something wrong, uh, just don't worry. And there it is. And as you can see, the app is still downloading and it will install automatically. And ta da, it's there. That's how we down that's what the advantage of the Mac App Store. You also also in uh launchpad you have folders. So you see here utilities. If you click it, opens uh, the folder in like an iPad. Full screen apps. I'll show you, for example, Safari. I put it to full screen. Uh, see, the the it went it went in full screen. I can scroll through my full screen apps only. And this is mail. Mail is here. Yeah. iCal. 
and preview which I haven't tried out and I'm not I'm, I don't want to I'm not planning to I can just turn it back when you press this and it's back I'll, I'll prefer to keep it full screen mission control is like expose but with new features so let's for example open pages here and let's open additional app maybe all to mp3 here text edit and uh, repair download is already open just wait for this to launch I'll put this back to a I'll go back here um, provide two new windows another new window yeah there is another new window and uh, I'll do, let's forget about Alto P3 and when you use your three fingers and scroll up you see all your apps laid out if you want to peek, you just use your two fingers and push in and you can peek the apps. I don't know if I haven't yeah, okay. You can peek through them. You can choose. And you see they're clustered by apps and you can see the name down there with the icon. It's very useful, it's more organized. And all the full screen apps are in the top. For now the Safari we we had full screen on. Yeah, there it is, it's back to normal and it's clustered the rest of the apps that are not full screen now because it's not full screen anymore okay, let's just close windows map of apps sorry about that let's go back to Safari Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's wait for this to load again. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, what what's after full screen apps is Mission Control, which we covered right now, and then gestures and animations. There's not a lot of differences in gestures and animations. It's um, <clears throat> now instead of three fingers. Uh, when you go back and forth with pages in Safari, you have two, and it looks like pages like this. Um, <clears throat> what else is um, with, uh, zooming? Like an iPhone, you can just use your two fingers, double tap, and you zoom in, and zoom out. And the mission, the of course, the launch pad uh, gesture as well. Auto save. Um, I can't show you this, but it's basically auto saving for applications in the Mac versions. It's just like Time Machine for the auto saved uh, documents you have. You can see how it looks be uh, from before. Resume. Uh, it's basically picking up exactly where you left off after you, you turn off the Mac. See so if I press the power off button, so you don't want. Yes, you'll see this reopen windows when locked back in. And it will resume where I left off. Mail 5. It's, it's basically like the iPad. You have the, the mail on the right. You have the mails on the right. And it will show here. Yeah. And that's threads. Airdrop is. It, only for Mac OS X lines. It's basically to send uh, wirelessly app, uh, applications or folders or f directories from one, sorry, not directories, uh, files from one Mac to another with OS X, OS X line. File Vault is a new level of security. Lion server, uh, it's just a server that I have no idea about. I'm not planning to, but it looks, it looks important for enterprises. And yeah, it has an easy setup. You just uh, have to uh, um, <clears throat> put next, next, and next. It'll install it for you. And if you're planning to install this, 
it's very easy. I have uh, I'll post this link in the description and basically it's a it's a page which uh, it, it directs you to a torrent site which is the Pirate Bay here which uh, you can download Mac OS X 10.7 um, <clears throat> it does not work on VMware, don't try on VMware or any virtual machine it basically just download the torrent It'll download your um, like downloads folder. I'm gonna just close this now. Go down here, click it. Uh, Utorrent will open. It'll pop up here, of course. Just wait for it. It didn't pop up because um, I downloaded it before, but anyways, it'll pop up here and it will start downloading. So quit. Let's just quit uTorrent. Let's quit. I will show you the file. I kept it here for uh, reasons, for personal reasons. If you double click it, it will mount. Sorry about that, that's my phone, sorry. Mount. Looks like uh, I found a bug. It will it will mount eventually, but it's a little slow. Um. Anyways, um, it will mount. You'll get an installation uh, file called Macos X Installer. You'll press next and next and next. Um, it will install and then so it will gather information. Then the computer will restart, and then it will start installing. Do not, I repeat, do not turn off the computer while it's installing. It will ruin the installation. And yes, it will recover all your files. You don't need to back up, but I recommend to. Don't install it as your main operating system. I had to because I had problems with partitioning. Um, to partition, you can just go to, uh, to uh, Disk Utility, um, which is here in the Utilities folder in your Mac, in your Applications folder. Go to this utility, which is here. I'm just take this out of the way. Go to my go to the main hard drive here. Go to partition. Yeah, and press plus sign. You can reset the partition to however you want, how much ever you want. Uh, <coughs> You can rename it to whatever you want here. You can size it and you can name it. And then you press apply and it will partition. Um, and when you install, it will show you the driver that you're part partitioning in. That's my phone again, sorry. Anyways, um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy this if you actually try to do it. And uh, thanks for watching.